you know the Israeli government is going to act like they're uh, using their right to self-defense against Iran because uh, Iran has sent uh, 200 drones to strike Israel after the Israeli government did an unprovoked attack against an I Iranian embassy in Syria. Uh, the UK, France, and the United States helped the Israeli government uh, take down these drones. It's not self-defense when you're the one who had attacked the nation first. It's Iran that is using their right to self-defense to defend their nation against Israel attacking their embassy. And isn't it like against international law to attack embassies? At least I thought it was. The long-anticipated attack is in retaliation for Israel's deadly bombing of an Iranian consulate in Syria. And President Biden has cut short his weekend in Delaware, has returned to the White House now to monitor developments. John Fanilio is doing the same thing. He's in our news center tonight. He's got more on all of this. John? Well, Kareen, Rick, it is just after 5 a.m. in Israel, and at this hour, Israeli air defenses are intercepting incoming Iranian airstrikes. Now, Iran says it launched dozens of drones and ballistic missiles at the Jewish... It says Iran launches attack on Israel. Now, Iran launches uh, self-defense measures against Israel. Uh, I mean, why, why is it that only, like, certain nations have the right to self-defense while all other nations are required to just let uh, some nations attack them? ...state earlier today. This video captured in Jerusalem moments ago. Watch. Air raid sirens and explosions are sounding over Israeli airspace tonight. We've also seen explosions near southern Israel lighting up the night sky. Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system intercepting many of those strikes. The U.S., the U.K., and France are also shooting down some of those drones and missiles. Iran's direct attack on Israel comes after Israel bombed an Iranian embassy in Syria earlier this week, killing seven... Yeah, so they're defending themselves against Israel because, you know, a nation does have the right to self-defense. And... Uh, According to the same logic Israel has, uh, Iran has the right to come into Israel and do whatever they want. Senior Iranian officials. Since then, Israel and its allies have been anticipating a retaliatory strike. President Biden cut short his weekend in Delaware and raced back to the White House, where he's been joined by his national security advisors who are monitoring the situation. The president insists the U.S. will continue to defend Israel. Now, the Israel Right, you're going to defend Israel against Iran after Israel attacked Iran. How stupid is that? Uh, Israel is dragging the United States into a war that they started. Israeli defense forces have readied their troops and are urging citizens to seek safety and bomb shelters in areas where sirens are sounding. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed Israelis shortly before the rockets were fired today. Listen. Israel has been preparing for the possibility of a direct attack from Iran. Our defense systems are deployed and we are prepared for any scenario, both defensively and offensively. The state of Israel is strong, the IDF is strong, the public is strong. We appreciate the U.S. standing by Israel's side, as well as the support of Great Britain, France, and many other countries. I have set a clear principle, whoever strikes us, we will strike him. We will defend ourselves against every threat, and we will do this calmly and with determination. You're the one to start the war with Iran by attacking an Iranian embassy. And it's wild how uh, these nations can come to the defense of Israel, but they can't do anything to help uh, Palestinians defend against a genocide by the Israeli government. Of course, a direct attack by Iran represents a dramatic escalation in Israel's war against Hamas in Gaza. Now, coming up at 6, we'll hear from... No, no the attack by Israel against Iran is, is what is escalating 
uh, the war in the Middle East, uh, the Israeli government didn't have to uh, murder some people in an Iranian embassy in Syria, but they decided to anyways. I'm an expert who will explain what a wider war in the region could look like following tonight's attack on Israel. Karine Rick.